What's up everyone? Um, today is July 5th, the day after 4th of July, and for some reason my work gave me both the 4th and the 5th up. So I figured with the day off and nothing to do, why not just go thrifting? Uh, so I am at my Goodwill right now. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm at my Goodwill right now. I'm gonna go in there and uh, while I stock, you know, since I have the day off, and then I have these boxes right here that are full of game stuff that I will be trading into a game store. It's a couple miles away from where I work, so it'll be a bit of a drive, but uh, since I'll be stopping there, I'll also be going to all the Goodwills and thrift stores in that area as well. So uh, depending on if I find anything, this might just be a standalone video. I might try and experiment, but uh, if I don't end up finding anything, then you probably won't even be seeing this. But um, Or I might add it to uh, my monthly Goodwill finds. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, haven't had a whole day of thrifting in a long time. Uh, so let's go. So my first time being back at this Goodwill for a while, and I actually got some pretty good stuff. Um, two GameCube games, nothing crazy rare or special, just two I didn't have for three bucks each. Um, and then a couple of Blu-rays, some of them are factory sealed. Um, Disney movies, they're not for me to sell or anything, they're for my family, we love collecting Disney Blu-rays, so getting these for four bucks each is a pretty good deal, honestly. Um, but I'd say the winner for sure was this blue Wii, um, she kind of wrapped it up in another bag, um, okay, there we go. So it's a blue Wii, it's not in the best shape, um, but I've never seen this before, and it didn't come with any cords or anything, and I paid 13 for it. However, I have some spare cords at home that I actually just got at a thrift store near me that I paid for like a, a buck each, and what's strange is they had the cords separately, and they were charging like five to six bucks each. Um, and the remote, no back, but it's in decent shape, and it was four dollars. So I don't know why they were charging the cords, they were charging more for the cords than the actual remote, and why they didn't just bundle it all together, but I mean, I'm not complaining since I got those cords for cheap so um, this blue Wii is definitely a really cool find I've never seen this before Goodwill number two after this I'm gonna go to the Fallout games right across the street okay so nothing crazy we got Rygar on the NES for five a little bit more than you know I, I want to pay on this but I've made it a goal like if it's a NES game that's not a sports game I'll pick it up for five bucks um, unless it's like Tecmo Super Bowl but it's one I didn't have so and then um, Tekken Tag Tournament for three um, they had an NES bundle with Super Mario Duck Hunt in it with all the cords two controllers and a gun for 40 bucks which is honestly a really fair price um, I didn't, I didn't want to go through the hassle of picking it up, though. I tried to see if I could get the gun separately, because believe it or not, I have never owned one of the zappers. Um, I, I still don't have one. So it's. I, I tried to see if I could get it separately, but unfortunately, uh, they weren't willing to separate everything out. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. Maybe it'll still be here by half off day and I'll be able to get it for 20 but I doubt it. All right, here we are at the Fallout Games. Let's see what I can get out of these two boxes. Hopefully some good stuff.
holy shit, you guys, I did not expect to get that much trading credit. I was thinking at max about 200, 250. I got $413 worth of trading credit. Um, everything I got are, are, are again, in these boxes. Um, I literally spent all of it. I was left with exactly $1 of trading credit, which is pretty funny. Um, but I got some amazing stuff that I'm, I'm really excited to show you guys when I get home. Uh, they were doing like a three for 10 deal for games under five bucks for like 360 PS3 and DS. Uh, so I took advantage of that, got some really good games. Uh, they had some really good stuff that I just, I'm, I'm so happy with everything. So I'll show you guys everything in the pickup. What's up, you guys? Uh, it is July 6th at 6.10 in the morning, and there's a yard sale about 25 minutes away from me that has video games listed that uh, I'll see if I can get to a bit early. I have to stop and get cash first just in case, but, um, you know, a 25-minute drive is not too bad. It's like 10 miles, like 10 to 15 miles, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, that's probably going to be the only yard sale I'll be going to, unless there's any like that I see along the way or that are in the area. Uh, I probably won't be going to any others because, you know, it's 4th of July weekend and it's going to be like 110 degrees today. So I doubt there's going to be a whole lot of yard sales in the area, but um, I'll still be going to this one because, you know, if there's video games listed at a yard sale that's like 15 miles away from me i'll i'll go just to check it out and hopefully i'll be able to find some stuff uh i'll let you guys know if i do um but uh if i don't then i'll try and see if there's other yard sales in the area but i doubt there's going to be a lot so that was the sale and i ended up scoring pretty good got this whole tub of wii games uh there's like 20 of them in here and then some really nice board games this spider-man game is from the 90s this harry potter game is also pretty old and this et card game looks like it's from the 80s as well they're all in really good shape everything looks to be in there uh she said that they had people waiting outside her house at like 5 30 and someone already grabbed a whole bunch of ds games she had so i don't know why they would leave all this stuff behind the games were like a dollar piece I only ended up paying 20 bucks for everything. And uh, she said that she had a Sega as well, but her husband is at home right now, and he's the one that would be giving the go-ahead on whether or not to sell it. So he is uh she's gonna get back to me on that if he wants to sell it. But again, I doubt I'll doubt I'll hear from them because you never do. But I am happy with this tub. I'll show you everything in the recap. So I'm at this yard so I'm just kind of all alone. Um they're going in to find more stuff, but unfortunately, Def Jam is not in here. Um, a lot of these games are in here. In fact, these two are the only ones that are in here. Um, there's like Yakuza and a few other games that aren't aren't in here. Um, they said they need to look some more, but hopefully I'll find more stuff. She brought more stuff out. Just a bunch of crappy Wii games. Um, been out here for a while, but... Um, yeah, most of the games, the Wii games are in there, of course, but um, this is missing a disc. She said that she thinks that they might have taken the games um, out before she could get to them and hit them somewhere. So, uh, I mean, it is what it is. She said she's going to go and look one last time. Um, they said GameCube, Game Boy, PS1, PS2, and PS3. So, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but uh, uh, we'll see. So that took way longer than expected. I only paid three bucks for everything though. That she just gave me the bottom two games because Def Jam wasn't in there and NBA Street was really scratched, so she just let me have it. Um she said if you know she can find them, she'll give me a call, but uh I doubt it. Uh I was here for a little too long. I, I probably shouldn't have even bought just dance four to be honest, but they, they went in quite a few times and they were really nice, so three bucks for everything. At that sale over there, I got these five 360 games for 15 bucks. Uh, he had a whole bunch more, but a lot of the discs weren't e were either not in there or were too scratched. He had a copy of Dark Watch that I really wanted, but it was literally like the disc was in half. Uh, so that sucks, but I mean, 15 bucks for these th these five, not a bad deal. So I'm on my way to a callback right now. Um, so it was actually at the sale that guy had 360 stuff. He said to um, he said that he would give me a text or a call because he said he has a whole bunch of PlayStation stuff. So he actually surprisingly gave me a call back. So I'm heading over there right now. Um, it's literally like a five mile, five minute drive from 
where I live. So I will be heading over there and hopefully I'll be getting some good stuff. So this is unfortunately all I was willing to get. He had a whole bunch of PS3 stuff, nothing PS2 or 1. I paid 10 bucks for everything just because he dug it out for me. I should be able to get like 20, 25 bucks off of everything. Might have overpaid, but um, he said that he shipped all his PlayStation 1 stuff to his nephews out of state, so eh, it's no big deal. All right, so we're starting off with my thrift finds. First, we got our day one things. We got Party Blast and Monopoly Party. Neither of these I had in the collection, so for three bucks each, that's a good deal. Party Blast is missing the manual. Um, and this blue Wii for 13, you guys saw the Motion Plus controller. I actually traded that into Fallout along with everything. And uh, this is like, I paid 13 bucks. Cleaned up decently. It's still really scratched, but um, I have an extra pair of cords, so I'll probably just end up keeping this. Then we got Tag and Tag Tournament for three. That was complete in Ryagar, which is actually a bit more than, worth more than I thought it was. It's like a $10, $15 game, so for five bucks, good deal on that. Now, the whole reason why I'm doing these separate from my yard sale finds is because of this surprise thrift score right here. Really did not expect to find anything. I just kind of was like, you know, I might as well stop at Goodwill along the way, you know, just in case. And... Good thing I did. First off, we have this really cool Half-Life 2 uh, strategy guide. I paid four bucks with it, uh, four bucks for it, which is a little more than I'd want to, but still really cool. Um, and then the games, um, Super Smash Bros. Melee, complete for three dollars, insane deal. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, insane deal for three dollars, complete. This is a $45 game right here. This is like a $40 game. Um, Easily, easily will be making my money back with these two games alone. Um, then we got New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which was also complete, and Super Mario Galaxy 2, which was complete. Um, I paid, f I, it was $4 after 20% off. I'll be keeping these two until the holidays when their uh, prices go up a bit more. But two games that are pretty awesome, Mario Kart and Super Paper Mario Factory Sealed. I'm pretty positive this is a factory grade seal because... Um, it looks like it has like the little, like, I don't know, like square. I don't know what to call it, but it, it just, it looks factory sealed along with Super Paper Mario right here. These are both, um, like $30 games factory sealed. I might sell Super Paper Mario and hold on to Mario Kart because I feel like this might go up in price, but yeah. All right. So we got the yard sale finds now. Um, pretty good day. I wasn't expecting to go out yard selling, but you know, I just, on a hunch, decided to look up on Craigslist, see if there was any listings with games listed in them, and there was. So, very happy that I ended up going because I got a few other good stuff as well. Um, let's start off with these games. Paid $3 for this stack. You guys know already Def Jam isn't in there, and NBA Street is in really rough shape, so she gave me those two for free, but Def Jam has the manual, which is pretty nice. Um, but I paid 3 bucks for everything. Um, then we got the 360 games, best one being Hitman HD Trilogy. Um, this is actually complete and in really good shape. Um, it's like a $15 to $20 game right here. And um, you guys saw that there was actually a Ninja Gaiden with this. However, the disc was cracked. And so I ended up uh, just giving that back to him and he gave me three bucks back. So I paid $12 for that stack. And then he said he had some PlayStation games that he was going to give me a call. And unfortunately, it was just PlayStation 3. I paid 10 bucks for these two and the dongle, which is a little more than I should have, you know, paid. But he dug this stuff out for me. And, you know, I could probably get about 20, 25 bucks off of this stuff. Um, 
So real quick note, as I was putting everything away, I decided to look this thing up right here. This is actually a really, really expensive item. It's the wireless receiver for the guitar, for Guitar Hero 5, I think. This goes for about 30 to 40 bucks. So definitely will be making my money back now, uh, now that I know that this is worth so much. So I guess this was definitely a really good score. Um, he said that he got rid of all of the PlayStation 1 games. I think I mentioned that he, he um, shipped it off to his cousins out of state. So that sucks, but it is what it is. Um, now moving on to the board games. I'm not really a board game guy. I don't really cover it much on my channel, but these were too cool to pass up. A dollar each on these and 50 cents on this. Um, this I'll be keeping for sure, um, mainly because not all the pieces are there, the box isn't there that holds all the, um, like, pieces together, and the, um, the instructions are just printed. However, all the, like, uh, smaller pieces and, like, the die are all in here. Um, if this was, like, 100% complete, I could probably get 20 bucks shipped out of this, but, uh, I'll be keeping it. Um, this right here I'll definitely be selling since it's all in there. Uh, E.T. card game. Uh, it's like a $10 to $15 little game right here. Uh, paid $0.50 cents for it, so good deal right there. And then definitely the coolest board game, this Spider-Man board game right here. Very happy to get this. Um, I saw only a few listings online, actually. No sold listing, uh, but the lowest right now is like 35 shipped, so pretty cool. It's like a build-your-own type game. Um, and I think you like have to knock down like villains or something like that. It's really cool. It's in really good shape and you know for a dollar I can't complain. I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping this or not though. I might just sell it to get some of my money back, but uh, still really cool to find nonetheless. Now for the Wii games. Um, nothing crazy. Uh, Guitar Hero Metallica. Uh, that's like a ten dollar game. A few Lego games. Uh, Wipeout, Game Party, Just Dance, um, Sonic Riders, uh, Harry Potter, and The Wheel. But there was a really nice surprise. I did not expect to see this game right here mixed in with a whole bunch of like crappy third-party titles, or just crappy bargain titles, I guess. We got Tatsunoku vs. Capcom, and this is in mint condition. Very nice shape. Everything is in there. This looks like it's never even been played. This is like a $25 game right here, and I paid a dollar for it. Um, everything else is in really good shape, too, which is kind of why I just bought everything and bundled it all together. I paid 20 bucks for everything, so I pretty much just got the board games for free. Um, I should... I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Um, I'll probably sell Guitar Hero Metallica, like, uh, by itself and make, like, 10 bucks, and then I'll probably sell all of these games to... Um, Fallout and hopefully get like 30 to 40 bucks uh, trading credit. So really cool stuff right here. Again, not expecting to go out. So very happy to get all this stuff. Um, now let's move on to what I got at Fallout. All right. So here's what I picked up from Fallout. Uh, instead of laying everything out on the table, I would figured I'd show you guys here because I don't really want to spoil the good stuff because there's definitely some amazing pickups that I can't wait to show you guys and figured I'd build up the suspense a little bit. But um. Yeah, so I ended up getting about $330 worth of stuff. Um, like I said, though, there was like a dollar left in trading credit. That was because, unfortunately, tax had a lot to do with it. So I didn't get exactly $413 worth of stuff, but still what I got, I'm very happy with um, managing to um, just kind of downsize the extras and games I knew I'd be, I wouldn't be selling anytime soon and I managed to get some really good stuff out of it so uh, first off let's start off with the games I got for the 3 for 10 deal um, of course you know with being a game store it's nothing special but uh, I did pick up some decent titles Fatal Inertia is probably the best one that's like a $10 game Turned Around I've never heard of that Avatar is like a $10 game Prince of Persia Darkness Dishonored so uh, those nine games were 30 bucks, which, I mean, they can't go wrong with that, especially from a used game store. Um, all right, now we have some kind of extra games that really aren't kind of anything special. Um, nothing that I really want to go over in detail. Um, we got Driver Parallel Lines, Silent Scope and Rush. Driver and Silent Scope were 450 and 4, and then Rush was 7. I think this is a remake of the... Uh, San Francisco Rush game on the Nintendo 64, so if that's the case, that's awesome, because I really enjoy those games. 
Um, then we have River King. Uh, I paid $10 for this. It looks like a fun Harvest Moon type game. Um, just interesting. Um, now for the GameCube stuff, um, I tried to, you guys know that I'm trying to go for a complete GameCube collection, so I tried to get any games that were complete and under $5 that weren't sports games, and then games that are kind of uncommon, uh, things I've never really seen before um, at a game store or like Goodwill or yard sales or anything like that. So uh, first up we have Jeremy McGrath's Supercross World. These were all complete and in pretty good shape for the most part. Um, then we have Scorpion King with lovely Dwayne The Rock Johnson on the cover. Then we got Minority Report, that was four. And then Super Bubble Pop, that was five. Now for some kind of uncommon games I don't really see too often, uh, we got Street Racing Syndicate for seven, and that was complete. And then Sega Soccer Slam, that was $10, also complete. Pretty good deal, that's like a $15 game. And then definitely the, I'd say probably the best deal out of everything was Virtua Striker 2002. I paid $25 for that, and some of you are probably thinking, you know, why would you pay $25 for a sports game? Um, but this is actually a really uncommon game. Um, Right now, price charting has it listed at thirty-five bucks, and the lowest on eBay, complete and in good condition that I could find, was sixty dollars. Obviously, it doesn't really sell for around sixty dollars, but it's just one of those games that you just don't see too many sold listings on eBay or just listings in general. Uh, so, very nice pickup for twenty-five dollars, especially since it was complete. Um, and since I've been going for a GameCube complete GameCube collection, uh, probably would never find this out in the wild, to be honest. Now, for the games that really cost me like the majority of what I paid for everything. I think these games total to around or, like 230, something like that. So definitely more the, I paid the most for these three items. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive right into them. The first thing is actually not a game, but a gaming system. Uh, we got the Sega Saturn. Um, this came with all the cords and one controller for $70, which is a pretty fair deal. This usually sells on eBay um, with no games or anything for anywhere between 60 to 80 bucks. So I feel like I got a pretty decent deal on this. Um, very happy to start a new Sega collection. Um, so far, from what I've heard, this is a pretty good system to collect for, a very expensive system to collect for, but I've heard that there's some really good titles on this game, or on the system, so um, hopefully I'll be able to get some more stuff to trade in there and hopefully get some more Saturn games, because they have some really good Saturn games in right now. Speaking of Saturn games, these last two games were actually both Saturn games, and like I said, collecting for the Saturn can be expensive, so I kind of went all out with these two games. These are both pretty uncommon for sure actually i'd say they're more in the rare tor territory um but first up we have darius gaiden uh for 60 bucks which is complete and pretty good deal on this i asked the guy um i was actually debating between this and ranger x on the uh genesis complete for 50 and i asked him what he preferred and he said this is one of his favorite shooters of all time so i i picked this up also, because, you know, I wanted to bolster my Saturn collection, um, and I love shooters, and apparently they have some really good shmups on this system, so happy to get this, for sure. And then, definitely the best pickup, and the most expensive pickup, for sure. Uh, we got In the Hunt on the Saturn. Uh, this cost 95 This is a pretty good deal, because this game goes normally anywhere between 100 and 115 bucks. Um, unfortunately, the bottom of the case is cracked, so... That sucks, but everything else is in really good shape. Um, you can tell right here that Bookman's charged 50 bucks for this game only four years ago, and it's already doubled in price, so that's pretty crazy. Um, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this game, um, so I decided to play it for myself, and it's fantastic. It's exactly what people say it is. It's like Metal Slug Underwater. It's it's an absolute gem of a shoot 'em up so definitely recommend picking this up if you can find it for cheap. Or if you did what I did and traded in a whole bunch of stuff, and if your game store has it, then pick it up because this is seriously an amazing game uh, if you love shoot 'em ups. Um, but that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you like this formula um, any better than my um, 
my goodwill hunting like monthly i figure i like this a bit more because i feel like if i can find a good amount of stuff i can make videos more often um hopefully i'll be able to make more videos like this in, in the winter after summer is over during garage sale season so yeah um just let me know if you like this way better or not um if you don't then i'll probably just stick to making live monthly videos uh so that is it thank you guys so much for watching and until next time Take care.